will be Anaga Supramanyam. Devi, Adi Shakti, Mahakali, Parvati. Across the vast expanse of the Indian subcontinent, Devi is worshipped in countless forms, each one a testament to her boundless power, wisdom and compassion. For centuries, she's been the object of worship for Shaktas and has inspired compositions like the Devi Mahatmyam, Saundarya Lahari and many more. Today, this stage becomes a tapestry of devotion, a tapestry that tells the timeless story of Devi and her eternal dance of creation, preservation and destruction. I am Anuga Subramaniam, a student of class 11. I've been learning Bharatanatyam since the age of three under the tutelage of Guru Radha Murthy and Neeti Nair. I completed my Arangetram last year. I now present the Devi Stuti, an ode to the many facets of Devi. One of the most revered forms of Devi is that of the nurturing Annapurneshwari, whose gentle embrace bestows abundance and prosperity upon her devotees. Without Shakti, Shiva himself is incomplete. But Devi is not always gentle and nurturing. She also possesses a fierce and formidable side, as exemplified by Kali. In times of darkness and chaos, it is Devi who wields her divine weapons to vanquish evil and restore balance to the universe. She symbolizes not just the war against Asuras, but also the war against our own inner demons. Kama, desire, krodha, anger, lobha, greed, mother, ego, moha, attachment, and matsarya, jealousy. In this eternal cosmic dance of creation and dissolution, Shakti reveals herself in a myriad facets, embodying the duality of the universe, creation and destruction, love and wrath, represented in Bharatanatyam as Lasya and Tandava. Lasya represents feminine grace through gentle, expressive movements, while Tandava represents its masculine counterpart, embodying power, vigor, and dynamism. It is this duality that I make an attempt to present before you. Through this rendition of the Devi Stuti, I offer my humble tribute to the many shades of Devi, the fearsome Kali, whose wrath annihilates darkness, the majestic Rajarajeshwari, whose regal presence commands reverence, and the nurturing Annapurneshwari, whose abundant blessings sustain all existence.